Okay, we're back with this um, thing. Let's get it finished. Shouldn't take too long. That's the box that way. I think I should zoom this camera out a bit. Uh, but that's fine. I just noticed there's a little thing on the camera that I haven't seen before on the screen. Anyway, that doesn't matter. You can't see it. So these are the instructions. We'll just try and work out where we're up to. Um, I think I've done this entire section. So I think I've done all of these things. So now we're going to do this one. So there's only one page left. So by maths, that should only take um, half as long as yesterday. <laughs> so uh, that thing does, in fact, oh no, I've actually already done it. So that little plastic thing does go in there. And now I have to get number 31, which is, oh, I don't know what it means by 31. Oh, that's step number 31. <laughs> I have to get piece number N. Right. See, it's been such a long time since I did, um, I don't know why I'm saying toying like that, um, then since I've done this, that I've forgotten what I was doing. Uh, I had an exciting day, so this little motor thing, so I got another one of these, and I built a silly robot uh, very quickly out of glue sticks. It looks terrible, but it's hilariously funny because it does move. Uh, it claws its way around uh, in a humorous way, but no one else seemed to be very impressed by it. Uh, only I am impressed by making terrible robots. Uh, right, I'll take a video tomorrow because it's not actually on me. It's in, in, in somewhere completely different from here. Uh, and then I'll post it on this channel and you can watch it. So that won't make any sense to post it tomorrow because the, by the time I've uploaded this video, tomorrow will be well in the past. So it doesn't really matter. Nothing matters. We are going to do step number 31 which is to take this in, hold it in your hand. Step number 33 is to fold that one like that. And then get momentarily confused because I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. Uh, oh, I get it. It comes around like this and goes into... So, you know, if I'd been doing this last night, I'd been like, oh, this is just like the last time we did... No, that doesn't work, though. So maybe it's actually meant to fold in like that, because that, that that makes a bit more sense. Um, oh gosh, that's the instructions right there. You can see what I mean. Probably should have cleaned my fingers. But there we go. <laughs> um. Anyway, <laughs> uh, what are we gonna do? Normally I do actually. It's just I get dirt from cleaning things. Um. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. No one would notice if I hadn't actually called attention to the fact. Now, I'm not going to do that trick. I am just going to concentrate for a second. I don't feel like this is correct. I, I don't feel like this is how it's supposed to go. I feel like it should go, like, like underneath. Like, why would it not go underneath? Like, shouldn't it go like that? Maybe that's kind of what the picture meant. Uh, it looks a bit dodgy when it sticks out like that, though. Uh, well, that's fine. We're going to stick it over here. It's going to be pretty much exactly the same procedure as... Speaking of popsicle sticks, uh, that can go there. Uh, that was not one of the popsicle sticks from my robot, robot if you haven't worked it out already. So, um, this is, I guess, going to go... Is there a little thing that says 30-something rather somewhere? Uh, not that I can see. Oh, gosh, it's getting... How did, how did it go on the other side? Now, I feel like this thing here is meant to go somewhere. Um, but I don't understand at all where. So that's meant, to, that's meant to fold over like this. And then that bit is meant to probably go through the middle. I'm going to put it that way. And stay like that. And then there's this bit here that I don't quite understand. And I think it's meant to go... Uh, well, this okay, 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 okay. We need the other little plastic clear bit, um, which is this bit here, because this is going to hold it in place. And once we get this in the right place, then I'm sure the rest of it will make sense. So these two bits here, I think it goes here. Um, yes. So we'll get this in. I feel like. The other side went different. Okay, there we go. So we've got this where it's supposed to be. And then it should just be a matter of... Uh, oh my gosh, really? It's so far away. Right, okay, there's a 38 and there's a 38 there. 
but that seems like I've got it too far away. I'm wondering, <laughs> I'm like, this should have been turned that way, shouldn't it? Uh, is it too late to turn this thing around? <laughs> yeah, it's not too late to turn this thing. Oh, great. We have to do this because this is almost certainly the, um, the exact problem everybody else who makes this will do. Uh, and I won't be able to finish it properly unless I get... Okay, so we just have to undo the thing in the middle. Uh, oh, this is going to be bad. Uh, and turn it around like this. And then it goes into there. And I'm assuming it just goes as far forward as possible. And that little plastic thing goes into there. And then this little bit... Uh, oh... So, oh, okay. Uh, uh, well, if that was meant to go... Okay, the only thing I can see is just... I'm just going to get this as far forward as I can. It goes there. That goes there. And then uh, this bit goes... Oh, okay. So I think that's roughly correct. Um, this thing does go into the right place. Uh, and now we can put this one on correctly and it won't be too far away. Where's the little plastic gone? Oh no. <laughs> there it is. Okay, phew. So we can do what we just did and then everything will actually fit. Uh, so we put that one there. <laughs> put the, arr, arr. I'm just going to be so happy when this is put together. Uh, uh. Okay, and I've also got a big pile of fake Lego bricks that I have to... Oh, I get it. So there's a little bit in the top of the head, I think. Well, there was. No, there's this bit here. That goes in there. Okay, so, and then that bit... <laughs> you can't see what I'm doing. That bit goes in there. There's a little bit that goes in there. That bit goes there. This thing sort of just sits on the top. Now we can sort out these horrendous nightmare of legs, which I think should have gone underneath... Like thus, there's a 47 here. I don't know what the deal is with 47. 34 goes through there. 35 goes there. 36 goes there. And I think we're relatively okay. We better, we better just check that I haven't ruined this side. And I think that's all right. Um, and so we've done it. Now we just have to do the motor, which is the second part. This thing here, which has got to, uh, oh, we've got to find an extra little bit. Hopefully it's not lost. <laughs> I think I've kind of got confused. Oh no, here it is. It's a bit hard because it's clear. So this is the bit that's going to do all the magic. It's going to go there, and then this thing is going to attach somehow. To, it's only got one position that it could actually go, which is there. And then it has to connect up with this bit. I feel like it's not going to work. And I feel like that's not a sufficiently strong connection. Well, it's in place. We probably should power it on. Um, where did they put the battery box? Okay. I'm just going to test it uh, the hacky way. That seems correct. By getting out some batteries. Yeah. Okay. Brand new, fresh off the floor, factory floor. Actually, they're not brand new, but well, they are brand new. I did buy them, but you never know. They could be. They could have been sitting in the shop for some time. It's hard to tell these days. I did buy a packet of batteries a while ago, and a chunk of them had corroded. It's like so they're being. Oh, oh, they're, they're, they're touching. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> probably just flattened the battery then so don't let the things I was reading another thing they made made it might have been this something that that had um, don't don't short circuit things which is exactly what I just did because um, it comes it comes pre it, well I've got to admit that's not very exciting <laughs> Okay, is that... Nope, it keeps coming out of the thing. 
So I feel like I've done something wrong. Uh, so what could I have done wrong? Could I just, could it just not be a very good model? Um, well, that seems like that's the place that this goes. The only thing that I'm thinking about is this plastic thing. Uh, i got to go check. Hold on. No, I'm pretty sure this is actually absolutely correct. So this just really has to get rammed in here like, like that. And then that's got to go. Uh, this is a terrible video because you cannot see what I'm doing. All right. That goes uh, 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 into the thing. Right, let's just have a look at what I'm doing. There's a little plastic thing that's that, that attaches to, and then it goes around in circles, and then this kind of goes up and down a bit. And that is the thing that's making this amazing. But to be honest, it's not as amazing as you might hope. But I'm thinking, hopefully, when we have the last part, which is this bit here, it will be even more exciting than you could possibly imagine. Uh, so this is the very last bit. This is it. This is the... Well, we've got to, we've still got to attach the the wires up to the switch and the battery box properly and all that kind of jazz. Um, but I think we know what's going to happen. It's going to be mildly creepy, uh, which is what you may want. I personally want extremely creepy, so I'm a bit disappointed. Now, I have I have a lot. I know. Well, I know people who are very scared of spiders. Uh, of the slightest, slightest spideriness, uh, except of course the Spider-Man, which I'm sure isn't really sufficiently spidery enough to scare people. But, and they might be, they might be terrified by this. But even that, I don't think they will. And that's kind of what you want. You want to terrify those friends because you know, who isn't a horrible person? And take that bit, take it out, and it won't pop out. It's popping out. There we go. And we've done it. And I was going to say something else. Oh yes, so. Shock story, uh, <laughs> I went to the bathroom and I felt something in my hair and I felt around and there was a spider in my hair and I, and, I, and I pulled it out and I was like, oh my gosh, a spider. And then I killed it and I was sad because it was what I call uh, a Mexican jumping spider. Uh, but it wasn't actually Mexican. But they are called jumping spiders. I call them Mexican jumping spiders because I don't know how these things called Mexican jumping beans or something when I was a kid. And it makes sense. And I'm sure this is inc incredibly, like, a, you know, I don't even know the true story behind that. And you need to really look into it before you call them things like that. But they were very cool. So I'm not, I'm not doing any disrespect to Mexico uh, by saying, but <laughs> uh, I, like these, I like these little spiders. Everyone's got them. The little spiders that jump, one was in my hair. And then I, I just was pulled it out and I was actually quite sad. I was like, oh, I don't actually want to kill you, little spider. Because uh, they were quite a happy little spider. And they weren't doing anything bad. Uh, I'm not the kind of person to get freaked out by spiders in general. Though the one time that I got bitten by a spider, right, so I'm trying to, I'm folding this all this. Sorry, we just have to put these into the right, the thing. The one time I got bitten by a spider was uh, when I went to fill up my petrol tank. I think I've said this story on this channel, but if you're new to this channel, here we go. Uh, and there was a spider in the actual where the fuel cap is. So when I went to open the back little 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 door in the thing where the fuel hatches, uh, uh, something bit me. <laughs> there was a spider there, and I was like, oh my gosh. And I unfortunately killed that spider too, because I was a bit shocked. Uh, I honestly did not actually expect that in general, being bitten by a spider, especially in New Zealand, was a thing that ever actually happened. Uh, turns out you can get bitten by a spider. Uh, they weren't poisonous or anything because there aren't that many poisonous spiders in New Zealand. Uh, there are enough though that there could have been a problem. But it wasn't. It was like a happy normal house spider that wasn't doing anything. <laughs> but I killed them because they were trying to steal my petrol. Uh, and with today's petrol prices, gas prices if you're in that kind of weird country, uh, you've really got to pay attention to... Uh, <laughs> The spiders. So, uh, I watched a video recently about the true reason that the cost of petrol is going up, cost of oil, cost of whatever, uh, petroleum products, uh, but they didn't mention spiders. So, they're obviously, I don't think this bit really goes that way, but it's fine, it's going to go that way. Uh, how much time have we got? 14 minutes. So, it didn't really work out that we're going to take half the time. So, we've got a 45 here that needs to go somewhere, and we've got a 47 that needs to go here. 
Uh, there's the 46 and the 44. No, I don't have a 46. Uh, oh, I do have a 46. It goes this way. All right, so there's the 47. Oh, I get this. So that bit goes, that bit goes over there, um, and then that tab goes into that one, and then 46 goes into that tab, and then we just have to fix this mess that we've made over here. Oh, and it's not working. I'm not being very good at fixing the mess here. Uh, being, oh no! I oh no! What have I done? I haven't removed a little bit of extra cardboard on this side. Uh, what a dilemma. It's going to be hard to do it. Uh, Alright. Tragedy averted. That one goes there. Uh, and this one goes there. Uh, turn it around. And then 45. And then we're done. We've done the cardboard stuff. And it can only be slightly less frustrating from now. Oh no, <laughs> that one broke apart. Um, okay, we did it. That's the spider that we made. And it's pretty funky. And the legs, oh no, it's falling apart on this side too. Uh, uh, gosh, alright. There we go. I think that's okay. It's fine. Now let's get this wire stuff figured out the way that they like to do it. Which is not just tying it together. Uh, we have to use, oh, what have I done? Oh, they're over here. Phew. We can probably just guess it. We don't really have to read the instructions. Uh, well, they want this thing to go relatively over here, so we'll just put that there. All right. I just wired up a complicated robot today. I'm pretty sure I can work out this thing. All right. All right. <laughs> You've got to make lots of sound effects here. Though I had to wire up one of these the wrong way around because the legs, there were two of them. You'll see what I mean next time. Uh, and this just goes random location. We'll just put it randomly there. Which way around it depends. Does make a difference. Um, but not that much of a difference. Okay, so we have three of these. Which seems a bit unreasonable. Because I'm pretty sure you need three of these. Uh, and you kind of feel like, uh, my experience with these things is you really need a spear. Because they do get lost. Um, we just put, where does it tell me to put these things? It put, tells me to put them all in a row right here. So according to the instructions, they all just go there. Um, and now I'm not going to read the instructions, but I am going to work it out. Uh, I can't get... Oh, <laughs> broke the switch. Uh, uh, that one doesn't want to go in. It just does. It's because it's upside down. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that goes there. I broke the switch, but it's not broken forever. At least I hope it's not. Okay, it's close enough. So we'll put one wire into that thing. And so, hold on. No, we don't. No, we don't. So, battery can go there. That one can go to the battery. So coming out of the battery, going into the switch. Uh, and then, so the red wire can go into that one. And go over there. And then the black wire goes into that one. And so this red wire will go into this, connect to this one. So it comes out of here, goes through this red wire, through the switch, goes up to this red, this thing, connects it to this red wire, which comes back down to this black wire after it's gone through the motor, and then this thing is going to connect. Let it turn it off. <laughs> if the switch still works. Uh, to there. And right, and now we've made we have almost made a circuit. Oh, and it keeps popping out. Oh, great. It does not want to go in together. All right, I think that is fine. So, here we go. Now I'm going to realize that I... No, it doesn't work anymore. What about... Oh, this wire came off. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, oh no, it popped off. Okay, I really do think I've done something, something wrong. Here. Like, I think the major problem is it's just not lined up properly. Oh, that just pops off. And everything pops out. <laughs> uh. Maybe it's meant to go back a bit further. It can't go back further. It has to kind of go there. So... Uh, in there you go. Well, okay, that's not going to work. Like, oh, I feel like this is so frustrating. Uh, would I recommend this? I don't really know. Um, I think most people who try this give up. That's kind of broken. Does it still work? No, one of the wires pops off. This wire has popped off again. Okay. Well, it's very, very slightly moving, and then it breaks. <laughs> so, I have done something wrong, but I don't really quite understand. What I have to... Okay, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna try and troubleshoot it. We have a few minutes, just in case you want to do this yourself in the future. Uh, I think here, there's a bit that I didn't do, which is the plastic is holding down the front of the spider. Um, so, hold on. <laughs> No, now it now it doesn't break. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> All right. So the little bit of plastic is going to be the hard part, and it's meant to hold down. It's meant to go. Uh, so one back. So it feels like this is in the right position. So this is the piece that I'm worried about. So it meant to go that way. It has to go back that right way. Uh, and so, I mean, it's meant to go this way. And it's meant to hold the piece of cardboard in front of it, which you can't see. And I don't think... Here we go. Have a look inside. Can you see now? There's a piece of flat cardboard. And I don't know if I got that correct the first time. So I'm trying. And so I've got that now into that position. And then a little bit of plastic at the top... Uh, goes here uh, and now I've broken the <laughs> so this thing here is really infuriating we're going to have to take that off just until we get it to work so off you come no thorax for this robot robot <laughs> a spider this isn't a robot this is a real spider uh, and that goes there so we'll push it in close uh, it feels more secure this time I don't know what I've done so we'll put this back in and we'll, oh gosh. Okay, just turn it around for a second. And it goes in. I think it's just going to pop it up. Go in and stay in. Alright. So I feel that's actually more secure than it was last time. So let's just see if it still works. No. <laughs> No, I think I know what I've done. I've managed to push it in so hard that it actually... Uh... <laughs> okay, we're going to have to finish this video because it's just getting ridiculous. I'm going to try one last time. Ah, okay. No, I, no it's not going to go in the hole. <laughs> it's not working the way it's supposed to. Okay. So this time, it, the plastic for this thing was getting caught and it was actually holding it when it shouldn't okay so that one goes there and it loosely fits there not as not as strong as I had it a minute ago that one goes there all right so it's it feels like it should kind of work trying it again Aha! I think that's probably the best we're gonna get it So, it looks kind of scary if you do that. 
but that would require this having much greater strength than it really seems to have. So there's only more orange circles. So I don't know, that was it, it's done. I have another one, I have a lion and I think I have a dinosaur of these, so maybe I'll get around to doing these. Uh, other than this, I think I'm just going to take this apart and use this motor for something. Uh, but it's kind of okay. It's kind of fun. Um, it's not as bad as I thought, but it's not that great. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. Um, there you go. That, that's on, it's on properly. Uh, have a good evening and bye. It has, it has got the little thing on the front, so... That, that's kind of cool. This bit, this bit worked out fine. The base is good. Bye.